Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's going to be just me uh, this time because I want to show you guys how I am changing up my routine and getting into healthier habits to start off this kind of next season. So the first thing I've been doing is drinking celery juice again. And to be honest, I don't really know why I stopped. I felt so much better on it. My skin was clear. Um, I felt more energized. And so I actually even started drinking celery juice again. And one of the main reasons I know why I stopped is because I didn't like juicing every single morning. So instead now, I will juice a whole stock of celery at a time. And then I don't drink the exact amount you're supposed to. I just drink how much I want to. Um, so at least I'm doing something healthy-ish even though it might not be um the full recommended size but then i'll save the rest of the juice in mason jar containers and throw them in the fridge so that when i juice one stock i have enough juice for two to three days so i don't have to juice every single morning and that's what's really been helping me stay on track and actually keep juicing okay so i just picked up my celery for um my juicing in the morning i got let's see if you can see it i got three big bunches it literally cost me $7. That will last me anywhere from six to nine days. So that's literally like a dollar, not even like maybe for my juices. And it's so easy to juice if you have a juicer, but you can also do it in the blender and then just wring it through a cheesecloth. So you don't need a juicer at all. And it's way cheaper than going and buying celery juice because that can be anywhere from like seven to $12. So you're definitely saving money this way and it's really easy and it makes me feel so good in the morning. I don't know why I stopped doing it. The second thing is, is switching up my eating habits. So I'm not gonna lie, I have, I'm not gonna say let myself go, but I've definitely been enjoying myself during this summer quarantine, whatever you wanna call it. And so, I live by an airport, so that's plain right there. So I've been changing up my eating habits. I haven't really changed up breakfast other than the fact that I now have celery juice and I'm trying to drink um, just coffee with almond milk in it or my iced chais, but I can't find any more of that concentrate right now. So just coffee and almond milk for me. And then I'll either have eggs and hash browns or avocado toast. Then for lunch, um, I usually make a smoothie that well i'm trying to start making smoothies you might have seen that a few vlogs ago i do like a mango strawberry one so i'll have that or i'll have cheese and crackers uh something of that sort then for dinner whatever my mom kind of makes for dinner or if i'm on my own or just with dylan we'll make some sort of protein some sort of roasted vegetable and then a salad so my favorite is italian or bratwurst sausage or just oven, they're not fried, but oven cooked chicken thighs. I don't know, you just put a little olive oil, salt, pepper on plain chicken thighs and throw them in the um, oven and they're super good. And then I really like riced cauliflower or broccoli, oven roasted broccoli or sweet potatoes. I love making little like healthy sweet potato fries. And then for salad, I really like the bacon bistro salad kit from Walmart. That's my favorite. So I'll usually have that. For snacks, I actually make that chia pudding, the almond um, cinnamon one, which you guys seen in my vlogs before. I put a little coconut chip, some sliced almonds on that, and that's really good. Or I make these chickpea chocolate chip like cookie ball things. You bake them in the oven and they're really good and they taste like dessert, but they're chickpeas and they still have chocolate chips. So they still like are sweet. The third thing that I'm doing to change up my habits is actually working out again. I have taken such a long break from working out. And I definitely want to get back into it. So my goal is to work out at least four times a week. So I want to at least do Iron Cycle, which is like the indoor cycling club near my house at least once a week. I wanna work out at home and my family and my boyfriend and kind of like my cousins and I, we've really gotten into tennis lately. We all have tennis rackets, so we just go to our local park and play tennis and that's super fun. And you actually get such a good workout in and I'm not that great, but I'm getting better. And so yeah, we love playing tennis. So like playing tennis, going for walks. I don't really love hiking that much, but I do like going for walks. So at least do some sort of physical exercise. I just said that really weird, exercise 
sometimes four days a week. And I also teach dance, so that'll be on top of my four times of exercising. All right, so it's time to work out now. I haven't worked out in who knows how long, but I already booked my workout tomorrow. I'm going to iron cycle, but first I'm going to do a 25 minute low impact core and booty workout from Pop Sugar Fitness. I highly recommend them. They're really good and they have so many different types of workouts. So I'm gonna do that right now. obviously sweaty just finished the workout it was a really good one i'm gonna leave that link for that video down below and then you can check out more pop sugars um stuff as well from there okay so i'm at iron cycle now not gonna lie my legs are super sore from yesterday's workout but one thing i wanted to mention that i totally forgot to is i don't know if i've ever talked about like the celery detox that happens when you first start drinking celery juice and let me tell you i'm going through it i'm letting everything flush out and I'm gonna leave it at that, but I know I'll feel so good after it's all done with. But let's see if you can see. Oh, maybe you can't through my back window there. Just cross the street. So I'm super excited. My cousin's working um, today, so it'll be nice to see her, but let's get this workout in. The fourth thing I've been doing is habit tracking. So I just literally found this one on Pinterest. I'll link it down below. And I just kind of wrote down habits and then I put in like color in when I've done them. So I have workout, drink enough water, wake up at 6.30. I actually find that I'm turning into a morning person and I actually love waking up at 6.30. I didn't this morning, but I'm going to try and wake up earlier because I feel like I get a lot more done when I do wake up earlier. And then get content. So that's either shooting for YouTube, for Instagram, for TikTok. Really want to take my content more seriously. So putting that on my habit tracking will keep me accountable. And then go outside at least once a week. Some days, I'm not even joking, I'm a very introverted person. And so I will literally go through the whole day and be like, I have not left my house. I've not even gone outside. So I'm going to try and go outside at least once a day, which I know might be shocking for some people, but I am my homebody and I love staying inside. Um, close all my rings on my Apple watch. I'm very competitive on my Apple watch and I've synced up with like my boyfriend, my friends, my dad, and I always love closing my rings. So that's one. Um, morning skincare and night skincare. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I go to bed without washing my face, which is disgusting. I should be doing that every single night. So this will definitely keep me accountable. And then read my Bible. So I wanna read my Bible at least, at least. I mean, I wanna read it every single day, but some days I forget, I'm not gonna lie. So keeping me accountable as well. Number five, I believe we're on five. I have actually started budgeting. Welcome to the life of a young adult. So I know for some of my younger viewers, you know, you don't have to do this. You don't need to work yet and stuff, which is super nice. Don't take it for granted. But I actually want to start budgeting and really like focusing where I spend my money and saving it and stuff like that. So I actually use the app, You Need a Budget. Great name. And that has helped keep me accountable and know where I'm spending my money, know where I'm saving it. And I'm really going to do, I saw this thing. I follow this girl on Instagram and she's talking about another girl on Instagram called Bloom Budget and how she is doing no spend September, which I wish I could do that. I know I won't fully be able to because I do like going out and getting coffee sometimes, but it gave me the idea to kind of tighten up myself for September and actually focus on saving more. So that as well. Number six. Number six, I actually have been starting to use Google Calendar again. I tried to use it once and I thought, oh no, I like writing stuff down better, but I always forget. And so I actually was listening to a podcast, Call Me Candid, and they use Google Calendar a lot and they separate each different thing for calendars and then you can invite people to some calendars. So I have one for like sweet and salty, I have one for teaching, I have one for like planning my workout so that I can see in all the different colors on Google Calendar what I have in each day, which has been super helpful. And then my mom also sends me calendar invites all the time for doing family stuff. So then that gets added into it. And so it's very aesthetically pleasing, I think with all the colors and it helps keep me way more organized. So I'm definitely gonna be trying to use my Google calendar way more often instead of just writing things down in my planner. So yeah, that is kind of what I've been doing to 
switch up my routine, enter some healthier habits into my life. Um, I hope some of these tips and tricks helped you guys. Comment down below what you guys are doing to switch up your routines if you are, or stuff that you want to try, or stuff you think that I should try and incorporate into my routine. And I hope you found this helpful. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, you know the drill, and I will see you guys next week.